Palestinians in Gaza's southern city of Rafah grieved on Monday for family members killed during an Israeli rescue operation. The Palestinian Authority's official television station said 74 people were killed in the assault. There was no immediate confirmation from the Gaza Health Ministry. In the operation, Israel says it freed two hostages held by Hamas. Israeli Argentines Fernando Simon Marmon and Louis Har. They were among about 250 people taken hostage during the October 7th raid by militants that triggered Israel's war on Gaza. The military says 31 hostages have died so far in the months long war. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the mission a perfect operation while speaking to special police unit officers who were involved in it. The military and security service also took part, and this Israeli army footage is said to show the men's rescue, as well as their emotional reunion with family members. Marmon's niece said she rushed to the hospital when she heard the news. It was uh, very emotional to see them, to hug them, to feel them. Uh, it feels almost unreal. Israel said airstrikes were launched so its forces could get out. Hamas's armed wing says three hostages died in their aftermath without elaborating. People in the city said two mosques and several residential buildings were hit in more than an hour of strikes. At this hospital, a doctor says the dead and wounded began arriving within minutes. My Al Najjar's father did not make it. The young girl's eyes well up with tears as she describes what happened. We were in the tent, me and all my family, when the bullets all came at us, she says. Ibrahim Hasuna said his relatives were killed at least two miles from the military operation. He says he's the only survivor in his family. My family members were sleeping, he says. Why did you kill my family while they were sleeping? Netanyahu's office has said the military needs to root out four Hamas battalions in Rafah. There are about one million civilians taking refuge in the southern Gaza city after months of bombardments.